Tuesday on Home and Family. It's our best of cooking show. Actress and singer Queen Latifah is here and Grammy Award winner Olivia Newton John joins us. So welcome oh. back everybody. We are here with Marina Sirtis and Seth Giuliano and they are thick as thieves. They're yeah. both from England having such a good time and they also share a passion for knitting. knitting. Yeah, they're going to tell us it. all about it, but before we do that, we wanted to talk about one of your favorite scenes from this right. show, and it actually involves your character's mother. That's why you put, you chose this. I did. Scene. My uh, my mother was played by Jean Roddenberry's wife, Majel Barrett Roddenberry. So, oh. um, wow. they did kind of adopt there she is the beautiful Majel, oh, and so they kind of adopted me into their family, and so I loved working with her. She was like my surrogate mum. Oh. Wow, and her yeah. name was Loaxana? Well, in the show it was Loaxana, yeah. Loaxana, yeah. which Loaxana. sounds kind of Greek a little bit, no? Yeah, well, yeah. she was strange. <laughs> <laughs> we have a clip of Loaxana introducing, I mean, inter, uh, interrupting a very private moment between you, uh, between Troy and Riker. Right. Let's take a look. I was all set for another round of arguing, when all of a sudden, she just fell apart. She's under a lot of stress. She's preparing the Cairn to meet with the Federation Council. It's more than that. I'm sensing some very erratic emotions from her. Even the clothes she's wearing are unusual. They're so subdued. Maybe you just need to sit and talk with her for a minute. Commander! Take your hands off her! Troy. Don't you, Mrs. Troy, me? Mother. Why don't you leave her alone? If it weren't for you, she'd be married by now. That's enough. Now I am warning you. Stay away from my daughter. You're coming with me. No. Oh. See? So she was Greek. Because that was exactly my mother to all my boyfriends. <laughs> Keep your hands off of my daughter. Yes, yeah. but eventually it worked out. Maybe she needed to do that because in the end, you two did get married. Yeah, we yeah. did, but years later. <laughs> well, it finally worked. And when you weren't acting or, um, or trying to chase your mother away, you were knitting. <laughs> yes. And Sophie has a big passion for knitting yes, as well. Yes, she does. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. so therapeutic, yeah. isn't it, is. it? Actually, I'm going to show, because I actually made these. I made oh, them. Did you really? I did. I did. So I just made them to show that if you can read a knitting pattern, you can make anything. That's impressive. So, I mean, even like the little things, they have little, you know, things to tie on the little packages. Mm -hmm. oh, that is in America. That's an ugly Christmas sweater. But in the <laughs> 80s, we wore it as clothes in London. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But there were some fans that really also got into this as yeah. well. We have some of the items out here, but I want to point out this beautiful little knitted hat over here. This is from, uh, uh, made from Becca Stundell from Brooklyn, New York, and it's called Live Long and Keep Warm Hat. <laughs> yeah. oh, it's so that great. is it's adorable. It's so nice that the fans do that. And so you brought some futuristic yarn. Yeah, I did, because um, we, I was showing these to Marina. Look at these. These are so unusual. This one is silk, and they've got these embellishments. The and the thing yarn. is, Marina and Debbie, even if you can't knit, if you can only do one stitch, a yeah. basic knit stitch, you use yarn like this, and it looks like you're brilliant. Yeah, but you know what? Actually, to be honest, learn how to read a pattern, because yeah, there really are for beginner knitters. enough yes. scarves in the world. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh. So what do you learn if you learn how to read a pattern? Well, this is how you learn how to read a pattern. I know she, you're going to... I've just put my foot in it. I can tell by um, no, it's Sophie's okay. it's face. Okay. Just, I've just put my foot in it, which is normal. See, these are instructions for a knitting pattern, like Y-O, yarn over, slip, slipper stitch. Now, if this is still Chinese to, to you, it means nothing to you, Go on YouTube, you can find lessons. Yeah. Or a lot of the knitting stores now, they have knitting circles. And if you go, actually the lovely Edith who wrote this book, oh, she's her shop is in North Hollywood, and she and she will explain to you exactly What's what everything COD? means. Cast on. Cast. Wow, you're quick. Um. Well, and actually, I have to say, Sophie, I hate the bamboo needles. I know they're <gasps> oh eco-friendly and everything, but they stick. Well, they do, but they're eco-friendly. Yeah, oh. I like my okay. well, well, needles. Well, cast on means cast on. Still, it means nothing to me, but we have a pre-tape showing everyone at home okay. what cast on means. Okay, so I cast on using needles. People are going to call in and say, you cast on wrong. This is the way I cast on. I cast on with the needles. That's what I do. You cast on I cast needles. on the same my way. My mum used to cast on with her thumb or her finger same or something. Same as my mum. Right. And also, don't tell me I'm holding the needle needles wrong. I know. Yeah. This is how I learned to knit over instead of under. So it gets the job done. You don't have to be perfect. And you can see now. OK, now I'm going to knit. For the first row, you knit through the back of the stitch so it doesn't go loopy. 
Well, we've already gone loopy. Yeah, yeah we've gone loopy. Now, actually, over. this is the second row, so I'm actually knitting a proper knit stitch through the front. But um, there's little tricks that you can learn. But basically, like I said, if you can learn how to read a pattern, you can knit absolutely that, everything. Why yeah. does my blood pressure just drop watching you <laughs> yeah. do that? Watching me knit. There it is. Yeah. Do you... Um, what do you take away from it? Like, when you're doing it, obviously you're making the world another sweater. Yeah. Um, or scarf. Or scarf. Um, <laughs> um, I, mean, I'm not this, I, I don't actually have, I don't think I've ever knitted a scarf. Well, I know you said the world has enough, enough scarves, scarves, so I'm a little humiliated. Right. At this moment in because time, because Sophie has a gift for you that oh, she actually... Oh, shoot! <laughs> made scarf! Self. It's a so lot of it Oh, but scarf. it's a beautiful it's scarf! It's beautiful! <laughs> It's a lovely, it's not a normal scarf. It's a little it's bit on top. Cool. It's like a feather. It's called a ruffle <laughs> scarf. Ruffle. I mean, honestly, I just, what did you say? You, you, you put your foot in it? Put my foot, my you size 10s in. Yes, I put your foot in it, Marina. It looks beautiful. Thank, Thank you, my Aww. darling. Thank you. For more Marina and Sophie, head on over to their websites and visit them on their social media, and maybe you'll see Marina wearing her scarf. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to get cooking next. A, pa a penne with a little broccoli with Denise Crosby. Don't go away. It's a lovely color. Thanks.